Welcome to my channel RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss about insulin glargine used in the management of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. About Insulin glargine works by controlling how sugar is used and stored in your body. It increases the amount of sugar your muscles use, helps to store sugar in fat, and stops your liver from making sugar. It also stops fat and protein from being broken down and helps your body make protein. It is used once a day as an injection just under the skin. Effects generally begin an hour after use. Do not use glargine to treat diabetic ketoacidosis. Important safety information Do not take during episodes of low blood sugar if you are allergic to insulin. Do not share needles or insulin others and reuse needles. How to use If your glargine pen is in cool storage, Take it out 1 to 2 hours before you inject to allow it to warm up. Cold insulin may be painful to inject. Check the expiration date on the label of your pen. Do not use a pen after the expiration date. How to use? Wipe the rubber seal with alcohol. Remove the protective seal from a new needle. Line up the needle with the pen and keep it straight as you attach it. Depending on the needle type, it may be pushed on or screwed on. If the needle is not kept straight while you attach it, it can damage the rubber seal and cause leakage or break the needle. Always perform the safety test before each injection. Performing the safety test ensures you get an accurate dose. It ensures that the pen and needle work properly and it also removes air bubbles in the insulin. Select a dose of 2 units by turning the dosage selector. Take off the outer needle cap and keep it to remove the used needle after injection. Take off the inner needle cap and discard it. Hold the pen with the needle pointing upwards. Then tap the insulin reservoir so that any air bubbles rise up towards the needle. Press the button all the way in. Check if insulin comes out of the needle tip. You may have to perform the safety test several times before insulin is seen. If no insulin comes out, Check for air bubbles and repeat the safety test two more times to remove them. If insulin still does not come out, the needle may be blocked. Change the needle and try again. If no insulin comes out after changing the needle, your glargine pen may be damaged. Do not use it. You can set the dose in steps of 1 unit from a minimum of 1 unit to a maximum of 80 units. If you need a dose greater than 80 units, you should give it as 2 or more doses. Check that the dose window shows 0 following the safety test. You can inject glargine in 3 areas of your body. Anywhere in your stomach area, except for a 2-inch radius around your navel. In the fatty tissue on the outer back area of your upper arm. Or in your thighs. Remember, the injection site should be changed each time you inject. Clean the injection site with an alcohol swab. Then insert the needle into the skin. Deliver the dose by pressing the injection button in all the way. The number in the dose window will return to zero as you inject. Keep the button pressed all the way in. Slowly count to 10 before you withdraw the needle from the skin. This ensures that the full dose will be delivered.
Remove and discard the needle. Always remove the needle after each dose and store your Glargine pen without a needle attached. This helps prevent contamination and or infection as well as entry of air into the insulin reservoir and leakage of insulin which can cause inaccurate dosing. Keep your unopened Glargine pen in cool storage until first use. Cool storage is between 36 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Do not allow it to freeze. Do not put it next to the freezer compartment of your refrigerator or next to a freezer pack. Once you take your Glargine pen out of cool storage, for use or as a spare, you can use it for up to 28 days. During this time, it can be safely kept at room temperature, up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. Do not use it after this time. Frequently ask questions. Can I take insulin glargine twice a day? Insulin glargine is long-acting and is usually prescribed to be taken once a day. It can be taken at any time of the day, but try to take it at the same time each day. What will happen if I accidentally inject more than the prescribed dose of insulin glargine? If you have accidentally taken more than the prescribed dose of insulin glargine, your blood sugar levels may become too low, hypoglycemia. This hypoglycemia may be mild or severe. Monitor your blood sugar levels more frequently for the next 24 hours. Mild episodes of hypoglycemia with symptoms like anxiety, sweating, weakness, tremors, fast heartbeat can usually be corrected with the help of sugary foods such as sugary candy, fruit juice and glucose glucondi. However, it is important to consult your doctor to decide the further course of treatment. More severe episodes of hypoglycemia may even lead to a seizure, fit or unconsciousness. This can be life-threatening and the patient should be rushed to an emergency. More common side effects Injection site reactions, redness, itchiness, pain, or tenderness around the injection area. Lipodystrophy, changes in skin thickness near the injection site. Itchy skin, rash. Edema, swelling, typically in your legs, ankles, or feet. Weight gain. Upper respiratory infections, such as the common cold. Hypoglycemia, low blood sugar levels. Most of these side effects may go away within a few days or couple of weeks. If they are more severe or don't go away, talk with your doctor. Dosage for type 1 diabetes. Your doctor will determine what your glargine dosage should be. You'll use glargine once per day. For type 1 diabetes, your starting dose of glargine is usually about one-third of your total daily insulin dose. The rest of your total daily insulin dose typically consists of short-acting mealtime insulin. Your total daily insulin dose is based on your body weight in kilograms, kg. A kg equals about 2.2 pounds, pound. Your dosage may range from 0.4 units kg to 1 unit kg per day. Glargine is approved to improve blood sugar levels in children ages 6 years and older with type 1 diabetes. The children's dosage of glargine is the same as the dosage for adults. Below is an example of a glargine dosage chart for type 1 diabetes. If body weight is 80 kilograms, about 175 pounds, 
possible prescribed daily insulin dosage is 0.6 units kg and total daily insulin dose. 48 units then starting daily dose of Glargine IS 16 units. Dosage for type 2 diabetes For people with type 2 diabetes who aren't currently taking insulin, the recommended starting dosage of Glargine is 0.2 units kg or 10 units once per day. The maximum starting dosage of Glargine is 10 units per day. If you have type 2 diabetes and are switching from a different insulin, your doctor will prescribe the dosage that's best for you. They'll consider the type and amount of insulin you used to decide your dosage of glargine. Dosages using vials versus preferred flex pens. There is no difference in dosage based on the form of glargine you use. Dosages using vials and preferred flex pens are the same. Long-term use Glargine is typically used as a long-term treatment. If you and your doctor determine that Glargine is safe and effective for you, you'll likely take it long-term. Some brands name which are available in market. Lantus Basagler Torgeo